Hey everybody, it's me Liv. So today I'm bringing you a VR for two challenges that I found on YouTube. Um, and those two that I'm going to bring you today are, and I'm going to get my book out, is um, Griffin Girls uh, Challenge. Uh, she's having a Sun is Out, Guns Out Memory Decks Challenge. Um, it ends on August 12th. Um, and she was just requesting a memory dex card. You can get extra points for doing um, some other things. One is a VR. Uh, the other one is um, she is a teacher. So she's currently now on summer break. And she was asking if you could also make some birthday cards because she likes to give birthday cards out to her class. So she's going to be the first one that I show you. I haven't had the chance yet to cut out my bottoms. I think um, pretty much all of you guys know that I do not have a memory dex die. Uh, I am, uh, I did just recently order one uh, and I'm waiting for it to come in. So I hope it gets here soon uh, and then I will have one. But for right now, I still don't. So I do cut out um, my hole. So I haven't done that yet, really because I'm waiting for this tail to finish drying and I didn't want to mess it all up. Um, what I ended up doing here with this tail, if you can see, is um, did a um, pretty thick layer of glitter glue and then stuck a whole bunch of sequences, sequence pieces right into it. Um, I used, uh, this was actually, I bought from the store in, in a sticker kit. And uh, this is, this paper collection is Authentiques. Um, I don't have the name in front of me, but it's their mermaid um, one that they came out with. So I um, went ahead and used that for this one, uh, keeping with that kind of summary theme. This edge is a border punch. I just border punched one side um, and the back is plain with just information on it. As for the card, this is the card. They are second graders, so she said nothing crazy. So um, I have a ton of... Uh, stamps like this, um, you know, kid kind of theme ones since my kids are still young and they like to give out cards to their friends. Um, I mean, they're, you know, tweens and teens, but they don't mind, uh, you know, giving out these style of cards. So um, I just also have a lot. This particular one is from CC Designs. If this is something that you're interested in and getting, color it with my Copic uh, markers and uh, just use some basic pattern papers I had in my stash and stamped the um, sentiment on the bottom that says surprise. So I figured that's really cute for um, a young kid and, and they'd appreciate that for a birthday card. Um, the second one I am doing is for Trina's Place. She is doing a 300 subby challenge. Um, she is almost at 300. Congratulations, that's fantastic news. I was so excited to see I'm even at 200. So thank you to everyone out there who is um, just subscribed to my channel. Uh, she is asking for a memory dex card and two embellishments. So for her, I'm just going to move this over. I used some more of that graphic 45 paper that I've had in my stash. Um, this is, if I remember correctly, Flutter by graphic 45. Um, I still had a ton of it. Um, oops, uh, got a little bit of that glitter glue on it, but it matches, so it's okay. Uh, and what I ended up doing is, you know, layering it on top. I had some of this um, beading that I had um, stringed uh, along this, the sequence beading and then just layered on with the tag and such. And again, the back is pretty just plain with um, demographic information on it that's requested. As for the two embellishments, I did a paper clip. Uh, so paper clip flag. And then I just did a uh, independent uh, banner by itself, uh, layering with a combination of chipboard and just um, various paper pieces. So those would be the two embellishments that's coming her way. So again, um, thank you so much, uh, Griffin Girl and uh, Trina's Place for hosting these challenges. Good luck to everyone who enters. I will be putting their link below in uh, my subject. So feel free to hop on over there and maybe uh, participate as well. Take care, everyone. Good night.